Hey guys, I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Pattaya. Today I'm bringing you about a 30 minute drive out of Pattaya City to a beautiful, pristine beach. Today we are here to check out the Saigal Beach. It's at the Satahip Navy Beach. It is a really, really beautiful beach, very well taken care of, and there's lots to see and do here. So come on, let's check it out. Saigao Beach, also known as Had Saigao, is one of the most popular beaches in Satahib. It's the closest navy beach to Pattaya City, located in the Chumpon Satahib Naval School. Upon arriving at the navy base, you'll need to pay a small entrance fee of only 100 baht for adults and 50 baht for children. You're free to sit wherever you fancy. There's no umbrellas and only large trees to shade from the sun, giving a more natural feeling to the beach. It's the perfect place to visit, to sit back and relax, with clean white sands and crystal blue sea, giving you a real tropical island atmosphere. The beach is about one kilometre long and is lined with restaurants, a coffee shop and a massage parlour. There's also free toilets and showers. Deck chairs are available for rent for only 30 baht a day and mats only 20 baht. You can also rent a rubber ring for 10 baht an hour. There are lots of activities to enjoy during your visit, such as kayaking, banana boat rides and snorkeling. On some days, you can also take a trip out to the famous Monkey Island or explore the corals from the glass-bottomed boat. Whatever you decide to do, Saigao Beach is certainly the perfect beach getaway destination. A pristine white sand beach only minutes away from the hustle and bustle of Pattaya City. Let the waves hit your feet and the sand be your seat. The Sports Lounge in Soi Wan off Pratamnak is home to all your favourite sports and food. From 9 in the morning, delicious food, 99 baht full English breakfast and a daily special for 175 baht. That's available all throughout the day until closing time. Soi Wan Pratamnak in the Pattaya Heights condominium with plenty of parking. This is Thai time with me, Tommy D, and Crew Fon. Good Sabadi morning. Sawadi crap. Sabai di mai. Sabai di ma ka. What are we going to learn today in Thai time? Crew Fon. The sea. Like the words the sea, the ocean, the da, beach. Tale. 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 It's two yes. words, is it? Mm -hmm. Tale. Tale. But you very, like, speak it very fast. Tale. Tale. Yes. And what is that, the beach or the ocean? This is actually the sea. The sea? Yes. Tale. The ocean is Maha Samut. We'll go with the sea, shall we? <laughs> yeah. It's a lot easier. Tale. Tale. Tale yes. is sea. And the beach? Chai Hat. Chai Hat. Yes. Hat. 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 Yes. Chai Hat. It's the beach, yes. Beach. Mm. Like Pu Chai. You remember Pu Chai? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, boy. Yes. So, or, or man. So this is Chai Hat. Yes. Is the beach. The beach. All right, just a quickie. What's sand? Sai. Sai. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so we now know what the beach is, we know that the sand's on the beach, and we know how to say the sea. Yeah, We're and then the ocean. The ocean's a difficult one. Do we need it if we've already got sea? Yeah, you have to. I mean, sometimes when you hear it, then you're going to know it's the ocean. It's Maha Samut. Maha Samut. Yes, so easy. Maha Samut or Dale. I think Dale. I'd go with Dale. <laughs> Maha Samut is the ocean, yeah? Yes. Tai Time on Fabulous 103, taking you to the beach this morning. Cassicorn Bank has confirmed a small data breach last month that was quickly rectified. The bank has outlined yesterday that it had gone through the required protocol of reporting the breach, which affected a small number of business customers and did not see any key data released, simply the names of some 3,000 customers requesting letters of guarantee online. Ex-students all around the nation who took out loans during their studies and for years, sometimes decades, have failed to repay are in for a shock. This is the Student Loan Fund Office will deduct a certain portion of salaries paid to about one million government officials and employees of private companies. Last week saw a teacher looking like she could lose her home having co-signed loans for her students who, despite her kindness, defaulted on their loans too. Ankle bracelets for criminals, otherwise known as electronic monitoring tags, remain on trial in Thailand until the end of the year when they'll be evaluated. Nearly 2,000 criminals avoided jail this year by opting for the not-so-must-have accessory. 50 of them have slipped the net by removing the tags. Anyone doing that ends up with a warrant out for their arrest and the promise of jail time. So far, 18 of those who removed their tags have been re-arrested and jailed. Anything that reduces jailhouse populations here is welcome and the chances are that the tags will remain in operation after the test period. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, and the call is out for Westerners, it could be you. This is a foreign man lies in ICU at Pattaya International Hospital. That's on Soy 4, Beach Road and Second Road. They need your help. It seems that the chap has Group O blood and needs donations to keep him alive. The problem? Thais don't have that kind of blood, so blood donors from the West are urgently being sought. If you're willing to help, ask at the hospital reception. And if they don't seem to know what they're talking about, a contact name, Coon Man in marketing. Police investigating a point-blank shooting of two 20-year-olds out at Buddha Mountain at the weekend have narrowed their investigation down to a Phuket nightclub owner who employed the woman there. It seems that he had an infatuation with the girl, and someone at least paid gunmen to kill the two in a car park. Three warrants have been issued now. And with the reminder that the roads are very slick today after the rain that began around five this morning, so take extra care, especially if you're on a motorbike, and the Met Office promising highs today of around 30, dropping down to 27, with a good chance of rain at any time, that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Pattaya, the city of fun. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, this is Joe Parsons at the BBC Sports Centre. The Manchester United manager Jose Mourinho says he doesn't know when his forward Anthony Martial will link up with the squad again following the birth of his baby daughter. Martial's missed three of United's pre-season games with Mourinho unsure when he'll see the Frenchman again. Mourinho has, however, given his backing to those members of the squad who've done well during their tour of the United States. Mourinho has been left without a host of first-team players who've been resting after the World Cup. But he's been pleased with those who played their part in the latest victory over Real Madrid. The game today doesn't change anything. But, of course, I know the players, I can count on them. I know that these guys are amazing professionals. I know that they give everything. So let's wait for a Lindelof, Rashford, Lukaku and, and Jones. When you are in trouble, they will help us. And that's the spirit we need because 
I think our first two, three weeks are going to be really hard for us. The Burnley manager Sean Dyche wants special dispensation to sign a new goalkeeper for their Europa League second qualifying round, second leg with Aberdeen on Thursday. Nick Pope had shoulder surgery after suffering an injury in the one all first leg draw and Tom Heaton is a doubt. Burnley are favourites for the match but Dyche feels that counts for nothing. Favourites is probably a bit too powerful but I think there was games when people sort of looked at us as the season went on last season and thought well with a fair performance they've got a better chance of winning that than they normally have. The one thing for sure about this idea of focus is a cup competition. Cup competitions, they are different. No one can ever quite define why. Everton have continued their close season recruitment with the signing of the Barcelona left back Lucas Dean. The 25 year old, who's played 46 times for Barcelona, has joined on contract until 2023. Leaving Everton could be the centre half Ashley Williams. The Wales international is in talks with the Championship side Stoke City about a season long loan. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com forward slash football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Coming up next, Patia Mail taking you on a road trip. Coco Fitness in Mike Shopping Mall is giving away free yoga and Zumba classes to all members. And you get their state of the art fitness equipment, air conditioned studios, and a choice of classes too. Gents, buy three months, get one free. Six months, get two free. Twelve months, get three free. And for the ladies who are looking to keep in shape, you get 50% off all memberships. Take advantage of these great deals now, from 7 a.m. through till 11 at night. Coco Fitness, no excuses. Hey, trouble, trouble and strife. Hey, sorrow, won't you be my wife? And today I'm on the second road I'm going to have a wander about. I'll tell you something, this road's busy. Seafood. They're all little food outlets there. Central Marina. Yeah, have a look at this then. It's a massive bar. That cost you a few bob, wouldn't it? I came here, first of all, right, in 1985. And there was nothing, it was only second road of Beach Road. And now look at it all, all highly developed. But look at this place here. This is so old town. The tire. All fresh fruit and veg there. But then this is Chinatown, look. They are governing up for the Chinese now because a lot of Chinese people are coming here now. Big Chinese restaurant over there. And then look at all these old Chinese shops for at night time. And a bit of a Chinese temple at the top there as well. And another little shopping centre there with your food and drinks. Look at this for a brand new modern building. Wow. It's like an airport. Terminal 21. Wow. I don't believe it. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Check this out. Only a plane. Next to the Dolphin Roundabout. How about that then? I'll tell you what, wouldn't it be great if they turned that into a restaurant? Or would they still serve you there the plain food? I don't know. You know what, it's getting really modern and uh, it's all building up now in Pattaya. It's going to be fantastic soon. There's more shopping centres than, uh, than chemists and, and massage parlours. They just pop up everywhere. Absolutely fantastic. It can only be good for the town. There they are, they're working. Hello! Sweaty cup! Hey, happy times! Yeah. Always smiling, aren't they? Brilliant. And apart from that, that's it. Because we're going to have a walk along Beach Road now. But that'll be in the next movie. Okay? So until then, the main thing is... Keep smiling! Coming up next, fabulous food. 
The referees can't decide who the winner should be in the big match between Retox versus Retox Game On. Retox in Soy Lenki is the sports bar with more, and more of those specials, like the 98 bat breakfast and daily Brexit specials. Retox Game On in Soy Honey is the brand new sports bar, with 50 TVs including one at your own table, plus the surprise of a new menu and seating for 200 for any match day or night. The battle continues 24 hours a day. Try Retox and Retox Game On, then you decide. Up next on Fabulous TV Patia. The Sports Lounge in Soy One off Pratamnak is home to all your favourite sports and food. From 9 in the morning, delicious food, 99 baht full English breakfast, and a daily special for 175 baht. That's available all throughout the day until closing time. Soy One Pratamnak in the Patia Heights condominium with plenty of parking. So any minutes to 12, it is time without further ado to go straight into Universally Challenged this morning. <laughs> the louder you clap, the more chance you have of winning. <laughs> Ow, my hands hurt. Such a pathetic bunch <laughs> of creatures, you really are. And you believe it, that's the trouble. I was even clapping with my oh, feet. Dear. So, uh, you and Denny only did it once last week. Yeah. Uh, uh, how many times have you done it? You did, you did it once this week, but neither of you got it right. Yeah. Yes. So today is the decider. Yes. Uh, the score so far is you're one week ahead? Uh, well, I was, but you took it off. Okay, so it's right <laughs> neck and neck for weeks. So yes. Everything, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Zero, zero, but you're one ahead so far in this one. Yes. Yeah, but I'm one point ahead of you this week. Yes, yeah, okay. that's what yeah. you just said. Well, I just okay. said okay. I'm getting all confused. Oh, Don't dear. rub it in, Denny. So this is the midget's chance to get even. It's Denny's yes. chance to prove that he's a lot cleverer than the midget. And I think our listeners are going to get it right before you two ever, ever get close. So, without further ado, representing the golden mile without a smile but new lipstick hey. is Megan the Midget this morning. Good morning. Thank you, thank That's you. not for you, that's for the <laughs> lipstick. I like that oh, lipstick. I wish. You. Thank you. Can the camera zoom in on that lipstick? Mm. Yeah, it's the rest of it. It's just... Uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just please. Do I get an extra clue for my new lipstick? What are you going to do to get it? Oh, cool. Well, there we I'll go. I'll blow you a kiss. <laughs> I'll take half. Yeah. Of, I'll take half of that, Denny. Uh, <laughs> representing the dark side is dark side, Denny. This morning. Good morning, Tom. No lipstick, but he doesn't need it. Oh, thank you. 
He's got no lips. He doesn't need lipstick. <laughs> Look, he's got no lips. <laughs> <laughs> you could end up with no teeth the way you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know the rules. Uh, yes. We make up a buzzer because we can't afford to give you buzzers. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give you a cryptic clue to our featured artist. And the first person to get it right... You only have one chance. You have to say mm. your buzzer. The first person to get it right is the winner. If Denny wins, he's overall winner so far. If Megan wins, that puts you even mm. going into in one week's time because we have no university challenge next week. Mm. Yeah. Going in at zero to mm. zero, mm. which would be an achievement for you, little dwarf. Wouldn't it? <laughs> Thanks very much. Okay, are you ready? Well, what about buzzers? Oh, yeah, what's your buzzer? Mwah. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to make that a jingle. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Mwah. Yeah. Can you yeah, do that, Danny? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's yours going to be? Fabulous Thursdays. <laughs> what? Fabulous what? Thursdays. Well, I'd say... Oh, Thursday. Thursday. Where, no, where, Thursday, where I come from, it's yeah. Thursday. 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 Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. yeah. So, what? fabulous yes. Thursday. <laughs> okay, so you've got fabulous Thursday and a snog from Megan mm. there, the buzzers. <laughs> Close your eyes, stop breathing, let the brain cell do its work as I give you the cryptic clue this morning. Scores of toy cars. What? Score of toy cars. Mm. <laughs> Score of toy cars. Uh. <laughs> Jeez, I have absolutely no idea. No idea. Uh, um. Uh. Okay. Mwah. Go on. I don't even know if it's an artist. Numero uno. <laughs> what? <laughs> How'd you come up with that? Honestly, that is. I don't know. Score number. Well, do you know? I... Num... <laughs> not is even close, artist? really. No, not really. <laughs> You're a loser, Denny. Uh Um. Well, the only thing I can think of, Fabulous Thursday... Jenny Jackson? ...is Corgi. That's very close. Corgi That's calls. very, very good. You're a loser. <laughs> Which means that the score is one to Denny, zero yeah. to Megan. Oh, no! Because today's featured artist, score of toy cars, is Matchbox 20. Oh. People were screaming that out to you. Numero uno. Numero uno. <laughs> You rely on your looks, girl, because you've got nothing else going for you. Let's have a look at some of the special events and promotions coming up around Pattaya today and this coming week. A Sunday isn't a Sunday without a proper Sunday roast, and one that we recommend having tried it is the Sunday Carvery at Dicey Riley's Pub and Restaurant, which is on Second Road, right next door to the Avani Hotel. A traditional roast with all the trimmings priced at only 4 49 and that includes a free drink too. Over at the Sunset Lounge at the rooftop of the Hotel Barracuda on Patia Second Road, you can enjoy the panoramic views of the city, as well as a two-hour free flow of wine and tapas. Mention Fabulous 103 FM and receive a special deal of only 777 baht plus plus per person. That's available every evening between 7 and midnight. The Garden Cafe at Avani Patia Resort and Spa promises that you can fill your boots with a feast for all the family at the cafe, enjoying a sizzling international and barbecue seafood buffet. That's going to be brimming with delicious dishes and fresh seafood. It takes place daily from 6 until 10 and is priced at only 850 baht per person. You can find the Garden Cafe inside the grounds of the Avani Patia Resort and Spa, and that's a great way to escape Songkran for a few hours. The Cafe G at the Holiday Inn in Patia offers a breakfast buffet from 5.30 in the morning all the way through till 10.30. It's an international breakfast buffet every single day of the week with an array of Thai and international dishes along with live cooking stations and, of course, fresh coffee, priced at only 550 baht on weekends, and even less during the week, 299 baht. Every Thursday is curry night at the Bangsaray Beach Club, 
which of course is in Bang Saray. Enjoy a different curry every week, paired with naan bread, poppadoms and onion bhajis. The price is only 250 baht a set. Tasty Indian food while you sit overlooking Bangsaray Bay. That's every Thursday evening and starts at 6 in the evening. Earth Hour Evening at the Salarim Nam Restaurant promises whining and dining your evening away under the stars with a candle-lit Earth Hour dinner. Indulge in a Thai traditional feast in romantic and relaxing surroundings out by the lotus ponds at Sala Rim Nam, which is located at the Avani Patia Resort and Spa on Second Road. That's every Monday evening from 7 until 10 in the evening. Fancy some live music and relaxation? Well, why not try the Havana Bar and Terrazzo restaurant? They're both at the Holiday Inn. And on Wednesdays all the way through till Saturday, you can sit back, relax and enjoy the wonderful sounds of the brand new in-house band. The Respect Band performs a range of Western, Thai, Chinese, country and even pop music. And that's located at the front of the Holiday Inn in Patias Beach Road. Every Sunday at the Havana Bar and Terrazzo Restaurant, enjoy a buy one get one free promotion on all pizzas between 12 midday and 8 o'clock in the evening. And don't forget your dancing shoes, as every Sunday evening is the popular Latin dancing night. Learn some new moves with complimentary dance lessons before the party and enjoy the Latin tunes by a live DJ. The dancing itself starts at 8.30 at the Havana Bar at Holiday Inn. 